Caveman Keto here. Today I'm going to show you my recipe for keto fat bombs. If you've never heard of a fat bomb, uh, it's something where it has just a large percentage of fat and not much protein. So maybe you've eaten too much chicken for the day. If you're kind of map, trying to map that 65% fat, 30% protein, 5% carbs, it can add a lot of fat uh, into your diet uh, without adding much protein. So we're going to do it with this really cool um, it's a low carb chocolate, so it only has one net carb. Uh, then we're gonna actually fill them with a sunflower butter. Uh, so it's gonna be kind of like a Reese's peanut butter cup. And then uh, we're also gonna use coconut oil as the main source of fat. So let's get started. I have all the ingredients here. You start with three ounces of coconut oil. You just put it into a big container. 1.5 ounces of cream cheese. 1.5 ounces of Tarani vanilla. 1.5 teaspoons of cocoa powder, unsweetened. Three ounces of chocolate. In this case, I'm using a one net carb chocolate. And then you wanna do some easy sweet to sweeten it up, 12 drops. And then we just microwave this. After a minute, you can see that the mixture is completely melted. Now you're ready to make your fat bomb. I take a cavity pan here. Um, you can just fill these with the chocolate and then put it in the refrigerator. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a layer and then I'm gonna put some sunflower seed butter uh, onto each layer to sort of make like a Reese's peanut butter cup kind of thing. So you just add a bit of chocolate into the bottom of each one. Now you wanna put these in the refrigerator, let them harden a little bit so that we can put the sunflower butter on top of it. After a few minutes in the freezer, you can see that these are mostly hard. Uh, this is just so that the sunflower butter doesn't sink directly to the bottom because that won't unstick. And then you wanna just put a small dollop in the center of each one. I apologize, the only real way to do it is with your finger. Now using the remainder of the chocolate, top off Chocolates. Now put these back into the freezer. As you can see, now that they're frozen, they just pop out. After the fat bombs have been in the freezer for a while, you can see as I showed you, they just pop out. Um, the reason why we made that bottom layer was so that they pop out easily, otherwise it just sticks and have a bite. Mmm, super delicious. You can see on the inside, we've got that sunflower bar. Mm. 